Hey guys! Alright guys, as you know, I'm no stranger to therapy or talking about therapy here on this channel. So I want to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp is a convenient way to get professional help from licensed therapists and counsellors online. It is important to note though BetterHelp is not a crisis line. If anyone is in crisis and need of immediate help, please see the description box. BetterHelp, however, do feature licensed and credentialed therapists who are certified to provide therapy and counselling. You will receive professional counselling using your computer, tablet or mobile phone anytime and anywhere. So how it works is when you go on the website, you'll be given a quick questionnaire to gather information on how you're currently feeling. What I especially love about BetterHelp is the option of Christian counselling called Faith Counselling, which is amazing. So after you have filled out the questionnaire, you'll be matched with a counsellor in less than 24 hours. BetterHelp is a monthly subscription and not a pay per session. So it actually works out more cost effective than face-to-face -face therapy. You do have the option to video chat or phone chat and you have texting access access to your therapist any time of day or night which is really good if you need extra support so as always i will leave all information in the description box below if you or anyone you know is in need of this service hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well okay so this is going to be a really really quick video just something that i wanted to get off my chest and get off my heart and it is how to become self-aware um, a lot of people always ask me brini how are you so wise or like you have an incredible mind like how do you do it and i've been thinking recently that it's all about self-awareness so what is self-awareness so to be self-aware is the ability to be able to see yourself clearly from the inside of course not just the outside you only need a mirror to look on the outside but what you need to be able to look down on the inside is self-awareness to evaluate to change to be better my goal every day for the last seven eight nine ten years is how can i be better how can i be the best version of myself so part of self-awareness is asking yourself questions and a lot of people ask me why how are you so wise i question everything i question myself i question others i question the world i question god i'm always asking questions my desire is to know to know more so that i can understand more so that i can change more so that i can do more and the funny thing about life is that we mostly go through life unconscious we do things unconsciously or so we think but most of the things that we do unconsciously is because somewhere in our conscience there is a record playing 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 a lot of us live our lives on autopilot we don't stop and question why the hell are you doing this over and over and over again why are you constantly getting into the same toxic unhealthy relationships time and time and time again why can you not keep a steady job time and time again why are your friendships always ending time and time again we really stop and question ourselves why do you think the way that you think why do you behave the way that you behave why do you act and react the way that you act and react what has happened in your past in your childhood in your relationships to cause you to behave in this manner i ask myself questions i write them down i ask myself at any given time how are you feeling why are you feeling this way how are you today sometimes you have to ask your heart heart how are you you know a lot of times when people ask us how we are and we know we're not fine it's because we don't actually have words to put to how we're feeling because we don't even ask ourselves these questions. I know at any given time how I'm feeling. And if I don't, all I have to do is take a moment and ask myself. And I am completely honest with myself. So another part of being self-aware is being honest with yourself. Taking a deep 
dive into your subconscious, into your mind, into your heart, seeing how all this stuff works and questioning it and being okay to see it. It may be bad, it may be ugly, it might not be pretty, but you are willing to take a look into your own heart and your own soul and be honest. And I think I always mention this um, when I'm talking about honesty. And I remember there was a time where I was single for a very long time and one of my really close friends got into a relationship but she had just got out of a relationship. She got out of a bad relationship and she got into a good one like within months. And I just felt to myself like I've been single for a hundred thousand years and how are you just getting out of a relationship and into a new healthy one, into a one where the guy absolutely adores you I started to feel like what's wrong with me so therefore I started to compare myself to her and therefore I became jealous and because I understand myself and because I'm self-aware I was able to pick that up so I could have given myself an excuse for why I'm feeling that way no but the God's honest truth was that I was jealous I was green with envy and because I was honest with myself, I was actually able to go and tell my friend exactly how I was feeling about the situation. She couldn't do anything, but I wanted to be honest and straight up because my behavior did change. And so I'm just using that as an example to show you guys how deep honesty and being transparent and open with yourself can actually improve your life. Because when you're self-aware, you don't have to wait for someone to tell you or show you how you look or how you're acting or how you're behaving you know exactly how you are and how you're behaving so no one in that sense can really have the upper hand easy. it's also easy for you to take criticism as well it's like someone could have been like to me in that situation oh Brini, it sounds like you're jealous and i could have been like no me jealous what why are we jealous why are we jealous what? and those people that react that way you've been triggered you act in that way because you're triggered but because i'm self-aware and because i was able to identify that within myself i could be like yeah i'm really i was i'm really jealous and they would actually be able to help me because i'm honest right and because i've already seen it in myself a lot of us don't see in ourselves that like i always say a lot of us like to think that our shit don't stink but it stinks and it stinks really bad the thing about actually getting into a relationship a healthy relationship is that person is going to show you that person's going to be a mirror and that person is going to show you who you are relationships are not for immature people and i think this is part of the reason why a lot of people have really argumentative aggressive unhealthy relationships because nobody wants to believe what the other person is telling you about yourself because you're like <gasps> me what everyone that criticizes you is not a hater <laughs> everyone that is judging you is not a hater but we live with ourselves but living with yourself doesn't mean that you know everything about yourself so it's important that we know ourselves is very important part of self-awareness is knowing yourself and we can only really know ourselves if we actually take time to get still to be single to be alone like it's okay i don't know who needs to hear this but it's okay to be by yourself and a lot of times we distract ourselves with people with friendships with relationships with other stuff to avoid actually taking a look at ourselves it's easy for me to run into a relationship and get lost in you so that i don't have to look at myself and that can end up really toxic you can actively honestly critique yourself there's not much progress that you can make right they say check yourself before you wreck yourself a lot of us are wrecking ourselves because we won't check ourselves we won't check our attitudes we won't check our behaviors we won't check our thought life we don't know our strengths and weaknesses so every time someone says oh i don't think that you should probably do this maybe you should do something else you're not quite strong in this area you attack them because you're delusional because you're not aware of yourself you're not aware of your strengths and weaknesses you're not aware of your likes and your dislikes one thing i always say is who are you where are you and what do you want i think once we're able to answer those questions about our lives our lives will skyrocket like this the reason why you may feel like your hair mediocre is because you haven't really clearly defined who you are, where you are, and what you want out of life. 
and the people that don't know what they want out of life get anything and the reason why you can't actually be appreciative is because you don't actually have any goals and the reason why you don't have any goals is because you've never taken the time to sit down and ask yourself these valuable questions i question myself every single day and one thing going back to relationships the reason why i can have a, a healthy and successful relationship is because i'm very very honest and i may be sensitive <laughs> but i'm very honest with myself so i don't feel any way telling someone something like i'm feeling a bit neglected i'm feeling a bit insecure like i'm actually okay and you only get okay with those feelings when you sit with yourself question yourself and also learn how to help yourself self-help right learn how to help yourself when you're feeling these ways so a few questions that you can ask yourself is who am i and this doesn't mean doctor nurse lawyer road sweeper dustbin man mother grandmother sister this is not not your identity who are you like who are you at your core what do you like doing what are your likes and your dislikes where do you want to be in five years ten years two years one year in 2020 where do you want to be in life what are some of your goals long-term short-term mid-term goals who are the people that are in my life who do i want to be in my life who do i not want to be in my life i changed my number the other day because i'm like i need this fresh start and everyone's like you always change your number yes it's a new season new season new number and some of you guys need to change your number i wrote this on twitter the other day some of you guys need to change your number people in your past should not still be able to have access to you and that's another video because i'm gonna digress who do you want in your life where do you want to be who do you want to be what do you want to achieve who do you want to help who do you want to inspire ask yourself these questions and i want you guys to do me a favor get a piece of paper write down these questions and answer them and you can message me or you can write them in the comments below but let's start to become more aware of ourselves that is the only way we're going to really progress in life i promise you i promise you we can't be living on autopilot we can't live life unconscious because what's going to happen is you're going to wake up one day and you're going to be 50 and you're going to complain about your life i don't want to complain about my life i want to be able to create the life that i want and you're only able to create the life that you want when you know what life you want so i hope you guys enjoy this video please comment below and if you find this video helpful if you want more videos like this that are really short i always have ideas like i always have video ideas and i don't want them to be like a 25 30 minute video i just want them to be really quick don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe shout out to 300k subscribers i love y'all share this video with anyone that you feel like needs it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys